Asinine Office Return Policies There are a number of companies and agencies in the U.S. who are implementing stricter office policies. With mostly requiring three days to be spent in person at an office location. Although there are a lot of good reasons for this stimulate the local economy. Engage with teammates. Improve corporate culture The actual mechanisms for measuring this are well, poorly implemented. My corporate overlords have instigated such a policy. Needless to say, be in the office three days a week has been met with the obvious MC. My team have taken it to heart. And so three times a week, to a person, they trek to the office on public transit, swipe their badges, say hi and have a brief meeting, then all trek home. Corporate bean counters see office policy met I see 20% lost productivity from the team on those three days. Sigh. Corporate bean counters see office policy met. I hate this part. It's Lacellos everywhere but in their head. Engage with teammates and improve corporate's culture are two awful reasons for RTO. At my company, they are pushing the collaboration and camaraderie aspects of RTO very strongly. But my boss lives in a different state than I do. His boss lives in a third state. And all of my colleagues are scattered across the country. So I have never met any of them face to face. And even if I do go to the office, I don't see them. We collaborate the same way as when I work from home IMS. Email and phone calls. My job has a policy of three days a week if you want to keep your parking pass and assigned desk. I usually average two days a week unless the weather sucks. I was like, if you have to take it away, then take it, but our VP told me he'd write me off the removal list if I came up because he thinks. The policy is silly. Plus I bring him hot sauce that I make. We had a mandated RTO three days a week. Our management team noticed that productivity dropped a significant amount on those days. Even with us being in office a full eight hours. Short answer. People were more social. Hour long lunches. 15 minute convo at the coffee station. Chats near the elevator. Desk side catch ups. I get a lot more done at home. Stop being ridiculous. Delegate one person to go to the office and swipe everyone's badges. Yep. My company tracks by door swipes but at the last quarterly all hands meeting they explicitly stated that they were expecting full days. Seems like all of the offices are emptier than expected even with tracking. Surprising no one. My hubs was a data systems architect that traveled 75% because bosses want to see asses in seats. My husband would get home at 2 a.m. Saturday morning. He slept most the day. Went to church on Sunday and flew back out after. He hated it. COVID hit and hubby gets to stay home. He's doing the same exact job. But he's doing it in shorts and a t-shirt. In bare feet. Hubby loved it. When things opened up again, the company said they could stay home and work. Start of 2023 and now they want consultants to travel again. My husband retired instead. He wasn't going to start traveling again. It's just stupid. I'm not sure how much people understand what WFH is doing to middle management. They are feeling very threatened. For most middle managers seeing their employees sitting at a desk is the way they know, their teams are being productive. This group of people, to feel comfortable with their teams working from home would have to change the way they work. Start trusting their employees. Understand what the outcomes need to be for direct reports and support their staff to deliver. Most managers don't have the first clue how to this or where to start in lessening how to do this. Hence they are providing themselves and the CEOs a rhetoric which is largely BS. The corporate world has always been full of emperor's new clothes type stories. This is just another one of them. Cricky. 
Most of them have no clue what collaboration even means. As a bean counter, I can honestly say we don't care and it's not us checking. Are caring about this. It's HR. It's always been our. In the way of contrasting experiences. My job was remote for several years before COVID. At that time only a few of us were remote. But during COVID my employer realized that most of us could do the job from home. In some cases productivity increased. But I don't think it decreased except for those individuals who took advantage. They didn't last long. Today, only those who work in the service end and have to be on site to do the service or who feel the need to see their co-workers in person actually commute to the office the rest of us thank our lucky stars that we don't have to commute anymore except on the occasions when our actual presence is needed in my case about eight weeks a year and of course the summer picnic and the winter party productivity overall has increased and dollar dollar spent on office space has decreased and employee retention has bloomed the short-sighted employers who don't trust their employees to do the job are clearly losing out here only three days a week we're at four and it is mon thursday plus they check the badge swipes in and out to make sure we're not cheating it does mean almost everybody works from home on Friday. There are allowances for being home for repairs or such other days. But of course no official policy or way to record that that. And in reality, being in the office is better for team relationships. Instead of working, we have many more conversations discussing personal matters or world events. S. Isn't it wonderful how the power seems to have moved from the employer to the employee over recent years. We are very fortunate that there are skills shortages coinciding with this period of change if it were easy to fire and rehire. Things would be very different. My company is strict on RTO. Like, so strict that the CEO got visibly angry when someone asked about projected changes to it in the all company meeting a couple weeks ago anyway here's how it's shaken out so far initially all of our six person team except one was working t with th 107 in office one person has worked 85 since i've been there then one person got put on a special project and his hours changed to 85 to align with the other people on that same project one person got fired one person doesn't drive so she convinced our manager who's on the other side of the country btw to let her switch to 85 to accommodate getting rides the public transit schedule the girl who sits next to me has been out for the last couple days the other large team that shares our space all leaves at 5 30. so the result of this is that at 5 45 yesterday I looked around and realized that I was basically alone. There's one other team that's on the other side of a partition wall. But visually I couldn't see anyone. So please, tell me how being solo in the office for 1.5 hours is important for collaboration. I hate that word. My team is in multiple states. One team member unfortunately lives within 50 miles of an office. So she falls under the stupid three days a week policy. She commutes 1.5 hours. Sits in a cube by herself. Has teams meetings with the rest of the team. And commutes 1.5 hours home. There are entire weeks that pass without her interacting with a single person in the office. This is about appeasing the reptilian overlords who run things and have huge piles of money tied up in commercial real estate that is now effectively worthless. Nothing more. If our teams all turned up on the same day there wouldn't be enough desks for us all. Luckily work are fine with us going in at much or as little as we want to. Got told by my boss that I would be WFH for the foreseeable future. So took the big monitor. 
Forgot to take the nice chair. But maybe next time I am there. As a corporate bean counter, I genuinely prefer dealing with my crazy toddler while trying to run a meeting than having to be in an office with a bunch of other bean counters. Although there are a lot of good reasons for this stimulate the local economy. Why the hell would this be my problem? We were also mandated to go to the office at least two times per week. My most unproductive days are those in the office. Getting ready and getting to work in itself is a 23h dance and then the same effort goes into going home and winding down for 12 hours. It's unnecessarily and the reason for this is also to collaborate with teammates. Of the total of about 40 times we gone into office since we were told to, I can count maybe two times total where I saw 90% of my team together for collaborating. Other times I sit literally away from my team still using teams as if we were at home. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.